hair loss after a viral infection, you experiencing that, you're not alone. There are many, many people struggling with this. And so I had to sit down for a bit and figure out, okay, what's going on here? Now, I don't have all the answers by far, but when I realized this plain obvious one, I've got to share it with you. Now, there are many different types of hair loss. And I'm, I'm targeting the one that has to do with a the after experiencing hair loss after a viral infection. I'm not talking about thyroid. I'm not talking about testosterone. I'm not talking about other nutrient types of, of, of issues that causing hair loss or stressors. I'm talking specifically about a post viral infection. Okay. So your body uses the resources that you provide it. So if you don't provide your body sufficient resources during a really, you know, important time, like overcoming a viral infection, then your body is going to deplete those resources and other systems are going to fail or struggle. And that happens all the time. You see it all the time. It's like, I never recovered after this or after pregnancy, this happened and I never recovered or, you know, I, I did this and, you know, I've, I've never felt the same since. Well, you're, you're lacking something most often. So when you have a viral infection, the priority for your body is to mount an immune response, right? That's, that's number one, survival. Having beautiful full hair is not an important thing to focus on for your body when there's a, a threat of your <laughs> surviving, right? So your body will take the resources, it'll allocate them towards the most important function. And in this case, it's the immune response. Now, does the immune response just happen? No, it requires nutrients. It requires a lot of nutrients and a variety of nutrients. I'm going to be targeting one specific nutrient. I mean, we know there's vitamin D, we know there's A, we know there's C, we know there's zinc, we know there's selenium, and we know there's glutathione, and there's other ones, and electrolytes, and so on. But I want to talk about one specifically. When you mount an immune response, what, what does that mean? It means that your white blood cells increase in number. It means that your natural killer cells increase in numbers. And how does that happen? It requires nutrients to do that. And one particular nutrient specifically is called folinic acid, F-O-L-I-N-I-C acid. So if you do not have sufficient folinic acid or sufficient folate, then your ability to synthesize and produce natural killer cells and white blood cells of various types is not very effective. And then that viral infection will be able to you know, take over and replicate and wreak havoc and make you sicker for a lot longer or worst case scenario, you know, you don't survive. And that's obviously the worst case scenario. Now, a slight caveat to this is a lot of people are supplementing or consuming processed foods with a nutrient called folic acid. And folic acid is not what you want. There's research that shows if you consume folic acid, that it actually reduces your natural killer response. It actually suppresses it. And if that happens, that's not good. That's your first line of defense. You inhale a viral um, particle, you get it in your system, your natural killer cells sense it and kill it. If you're consuming a lot of folic acid, your natural killer cells are not on watch and they're not gonna be able to sense it and kill it. One of the reasons that 80% of people are completely asymptomatic with this thing is because their natural killer cells identify it and kill it right away. They're probably generally healthy. They're probably generally supplementing with good supplements and they are eating healthfully. So if you are consuming folic acid in, in high numbers in, in processed foods, stop, eat whole foods. If you are consuming folic acid in supplements, stop, use higher quality folate like folinic acid and or methylfolate and preferably. So if you are experiencing hair loss, it's because your body was allocating all the folinic acid or a lot of it towards your immune system. And now your hair is malnourished and falling out. So how do you support that? With additional folinic acid. There are pregnant women that are commenting on my prior post that I talked about how pregnant women are more protected during this viral infection than other people who are not pregnant. And why is that? Well, they're taking more nutrients. A prenatal vitamin has more folate, has more B vitamins, 
of other types that has uh, more trace minerals. It's just more nourishment. And so these, and they're more uh, diligent about taking their prenatals. So pregnant women seem to be more protected against this viral uh, infection than others, merely because they're being more diligent about their health, they're eating better, and they're taking their supplementation. And that is based on a post that I did a few days ago, and I cited a couple papers uh, talking about this. So if you are going to try to support your hair, and you know that your hair also requires folate, <coughs> then what do you do? You take more folate. It's that simple. So folinic acid is the type of folate that you want to support hair health. You do not want methylfolate. Methylfolate supports a whole other system of your body, cardiovascular, methylation, and so on. That's very, very important as well. But if you really want to focus on hair health, it's folinic acid. And you need to have B vitamins in there as well, especially uh, vitamin B12. So what I recommend is this one. Hydroxo B12 with folinic acid. It's a very tiny lozenge. And this is what it looks like. Oh made a mess. So it's this tiny little lozenge. You put it in your mouth, let it dissolve, and uh, you can break it up in little pieces if you want as well. Um, children can also have it four years and above. Um, do not take it within five hours or six hours of bedtime because uh, folate is very uh, energizing. It gives you a lot of um, you know, brain power. I already feel it actually in my head. It's not like a caffeine hit, um, but it increases clarity and I'm feeling it already. Now, if you are struggling with hair loss, this is a big one. So you, you're gonna wanna take the hydroxo uh, B12 with folinic acid to support healthy hair growth and hair health. Now, glutathione, if you're seeing increased gray or white in your hair, that is increased reactive oxygen species that you experienced during the viral infection and the stress of it as well. So if you are experiencing white or gray areas of your hair and you're young and it's new for you, then I recommend glutathione. So this is the glutathione plus, and then we also have the optimal glutathione. And these are really small capsules and you would take one of these a day, preferably in the morning or early afternoon, and uh, you will be supporting healthy levels of reactive oxygen species by using glutathione. And by the way, at Seeking Health, uh, dot com right now we have a buy one get one free on both of the glutathione so you buy one of these and you get a second one for free so i hope that serves you comment below if you've already been using the hydroxo b12 with folinic acid because i have already talked about this a few days ago so if you're already using this um, or if you were on our, our prenatals our optimal prenatal and you were experiencing healthy hair even while you had the viral infection and you didn't experience so much hair loss, comment below and share with folks um, how that's helping you so they can learn and, and adapt to their own life. So I hope that serves you. Again, there are many, many reasons for hair loss. I'm not specifically talking about thyroid. I'm not talking about testosterone levels. I'm not talking about other nutrients. I'm specifically talking about the correlation between the immune system demand of folinic acid and your hair health demand of folinic acid and the immune system is going to suck all that folinic acid up and your hair is going to be devoid of that folinic acid and it's going to fall out because it's hungry for folinic acid. So get the folinic acid in your system and your hair will um, hopefully come back. So this one lozenge a day and if you feel like you need more then you can try taking more as well. You look out for irritability, headaches, anxiousness or difficulty falling asleep. If you're experiencing that then you're taking too much. The benefit though with the hydroxo B12 folinic acid is you tend not to get those types of feelings um, and symptoms with these like you do with the methylfolate. So, but still keep an eye out for that. And if you are, back off a little bit on it. Okay, don't rush it. Hair takes time to grow back, but you should start seeing little things or some um, growing back in there and also some uh, less of falling out. That's a good first sign. You can get both of these at seekinghealth.com and check out also our buy one, get one free. I think on like nine or 10 different types of supplements. If you just go right to the homepage, you just click the link. It says buy one, get one free, and you can get the glutathione. There's some sleep supplements in there. 
Um, there's, a, there's a variety of good stuff, right? Take care. Again, share your experiences and your thoughts and questions below. Take care.